ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली मे ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली वर्जन ऑफ शिव बाबा ओ माई स्वीट बिलवर्ड चिल्ड्रन स्टे अवेक एट नाइट एंड रिमेंबर द मोस्ट बिलवर्ड फादर सी द एड्रेस ऑफ बाबा ओ माई स्वीट बिलवर्ड चिल्ड्रन और रिसेन फर्स्ट कंडीशन स्टे अवेक एट नाइट एंड रिमेंबर द मोस्ट बिलवर्ड फादर सेकेंड बिकम सोल कॉन्शियस एंड थर्ड श्री मसेज बिकम एज ई गोलेस एज द फादर क्वेश्चन Why are the directions of Brahma as well known as the directions of Shiv Baba? Answer: Because Brahma Baba is the only especially beloved child of Shiv Baba, especially beloved child. Because Baba is taking the support of his body, and he is giving the first birth to him, and we are getting the birth through Brahma. So he is the only especially beloved. He has no ego of his own directions. He always says, always think that it is the father say mat, who says Brahma Baba says, Dada says, always think that it is father say mat. Only in what is there benefit for you? Only in that is benefit that. Only in that is there benefit for you. If we remember anybody else except Baba, then no benefit. Look how egoless, egoless Baba is. He says to the mothers, "Salutation to the mothers. The mothers are the Ganges of knowledge, the Shakti army, and they have to be kept at front and given regard. There mustn't be body consciousness about this." So Baba clarifies the significance of mothers in Baba's idea. Song. The rain of knowledge is on those who are with the beloved. If we don't know the beloved, we don't have the recognition of him. How we can have a connection with him? So he says. So song is the rain of knowledge is on those who are with beloved. Om Shanti. You children heard the first line of the song. The rain of knowledge is on those who are with the beloved. It says those who are with the beloved. However, as you are together, there is no question of living together. I will clarify immediately. Together doesn't mean that we physically are together, living together. Those who belong to the father are with him anyway. So we are either in the our household or we are at the center or Madhuban. We are with him anyway. There is the rain of knowledge for Brahmins who belong to the Father wherever they live. This hour of knowledge is for those who become the grandchildren of Sri Baba and promise, Baba, we will always remain pure and drink the nectar of knowledge. Nectar is not water; it is in comparison to poison that knowledge is called nectar. So it is a symbolization of you can say nectar to the water. So you are the Pandava community. There is the memorial of Yadava community and the Kaurava community. What are they doing? Because they don't know what they are doing Yadava and Kaurava. We were also not knowing, but we come to know when we recognize Baba. There is the rain of nectar of knowledge on you Pandavas who knows the Baba. For them, there is a nectar of knowledge. Otherwise, still it is an iron age as well for others. However, there is no rain of the nectar of knowledge on the Yadavas or the Kauravas. You children know that there are many Yadavas and Kauravas and very few Pandavas. There is praise of Pandavas only five, while Kauravas hundred. It is remembered Rama went and Ravan, whose community was very large, and went. Rama went, and Ravan, whose community was very large, went. Baba's children are very few, millions. It's only one out of multi millions. There are few Pandavas in Rama's community. This is the Pandava government, godly government. We are godly student. 
it is of those who follow Srimad, whose government who follow Srimad. You know what we know. So this is this is like God's government, but it is incognito. There is no show of Baba anywhere. Very, very incognito. If we see the show of Sadhu, San, Sanyasi, even Sankracharya Ji, they never sit without the throne of silver. So Baba said, no show Baba is giving. In a very, very simple, you can say, body of Dada, he is descending. He is incarnating. You know that you are following Srimad and taking the boat of Bharat across. Those who follow Srimad are taking their own boat across. We are doing for ourselves, not for others. So first our boat and with the help of ours, everybody is. The Yadavas and Kauravas have so many palaces. You children don't have anything, doesn't mean that we are beggars. We have don't have anything as compared to the golden age. They have so many things as compared to this world only. They are not coming in the golden world. So Baba says, you don't have anything. You don't even have three feet of land. Baba center was, you can see in the beginning, very difficult to open. Everything belongs to them. That is Kauravaj and Yadavaj. It is also remembered that those who didn't have three feet of land were victorious and became the masters of the world. If you go to the story of Mahabharata, it says Duryodhan was not ready even to give the land of five villages when he was asked. He said, forget about your five villages. I will not give even a land which is just like a, you can say, nook of the needle. So, we do hear, it is indicated in the scriptures very clearly that we don't have anything. Pandavas don't have anything. So Baba says, it is also remembered that those who didn't have three feet of land were victorious and became the masters of the world. The Pandava Shakti army is incognito. Both Pandava, his brother, Shakti, his sisters. It has been shown in the scriptures that Pandavas lost their kingdom when they gambled. There was not a kingdom, nor was there any question of gambling. Baba says, all of those are lies. Our Pandavas cannot gamble because God was with himself, with themselves. You truly are the Pandavas. Shri Baba is the spiritual guide. He has come to teach you children the spiritual pilgrimage. He gives you Srimad through the body of Brahma, just as Shri Baba's Srimad is remembered. Similarly, the directions of Brahma are also remembered because, after all, he is Shiv Baba's one and only beloved special child. Why is too much praise of Dada even? So what Dada is doing? In the Murli Baba, he is giving the knowledge. And Dada is sharing his experience. So both are speaking, but Dada's wording are very, very little. And always Baba says, it is his responsibility. Anything goes wrong even by Brahma. It is Shiva Baba's responsibility. So Baba says, both you can say opinion. Baba Srimad and Brahma Baba's even guidance is also praised in the scriptures. So both are there because he is the only one and only beloved special child. So many mouthboard children are created through this one. He enables you to have bracelet of purity tied on you and says, the more you follow mind directions, the more you live, will be, your lives will become like a diamond. You will become most beloved. Everything in proportionate of knowledge only, effort only. Shri Baba said, this one's Brahma's connection and your connections are with me, not with anybody else. You receive a birth like a diamond and so you have to become soul conscious. The more you remember Shri Baba, the more soul conscious you will become and the less Maya will attain you. Everything depends on our efforts, how we are and how much we are becoming soul conscious. Bab Dada's vision is constantly on you children. If you children do every, uh, if you children do anything unlawful, which is not as per Srimad, as per law, they dishonor Bab Dada's name. 
and so they have to be given teachings don't perform such actions because everybody will say see this brahma kumari student brahma kumari children brahma kumari follower they are not following what their dada is telling or what their baba is telling people knows better than us about brahma kumari if you want to go with the beige in any restaurant someone will be there to tell you oh brahma kumari while well, i is not eating in restaurant how you means people knows more than us and it will work as a disservice of baba so baba said don't perform such actions for those who dishonor the name it is said those who dishonor the sat guru cannot claim an elevated status you mustn't perform any such wrong actions you children know that to the extent you remember baba so your sins will accordingly be absolved only those who stay in remembrance are said to be soul conscious when you remain body conscious there will be a strong attack from maya maya comes because of body consciousness body consciousness is the door you can serve the maya to enter the destination is very high baba said not aunt is home you are receiving a scholarship there are so many who will become brahmins 330 million deities have been remembered those who become soul conscious become part of the rosary of victory to become body conscious means to be attacked by maya to be soul conscious means to belong to the father so it is our choice where we have to belong this is sense something very subtle make effort and remember the father that's the reason baba says practice practice and practice he is the father and also the bridegroom he is the one who gives you limitless happiness he says i have brought heaven on the palm of my hand for you children because he is not coming in heaven you simply have to follow shrimat and what shrimat says shrimat says may you be soul conscious body consciousness has made your boat sink maya makes you body conscious all have forgotten the spiritual path almost everybody the father has now come and given his introduction consider yourself to be bodiless souls we come to know when baba came otherwise we were also not known only see baba and the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven his mind that's all if you say mind out of body consciousness you won't be able to claim the kingdom of heaven i am a soul have this from faith remove the confusion your intellects have of each soul being the supreme soul become soul conscious now remember the father and your boat will go across follow shrimat if you don't become soul conscious maya will sink your boat maya has sunk the boats of many in this way because they don't follow shrimat this is a battlefield you must not be defeated by any situation the evil spirit of lust will totally break you into pieces the second number is the evil spirit of anger people even kill each other in anger anger is to such extent that people don't think while even killing we can see many incidents of gun firing in schools even by children so this is the you can say level of anger the anger of the yadavas is to increase we see the condition of the western world they will become completely like devils now they are on the brink of world war because of this anger only anger to his very strong enemy if you don't conquer lust you won't be able to become the masters of the pure one anger is such an enemy that it causes sorrow for oneself and for others people shooting down this too is destiny because it is a destiny of drama finally because without you can say anger how the drama will transform what are the yadavas kauravas and pandavas now doing only you know this they don't know this is the pandava government you can see that it is now no longer the kingdom of the pandavas you don't receive even 3 feet of land look how much plundered they have among you children there are very few 
who have intoxication of becoming high. All other types of intoxication cause damage, alcohol, everything, except becoming intoxication of Narayan. There is also a lot of damage done by being body conscious. <clears throat> the father explains, always remember Shri Baba. Don't think that this Brahma he is giving you knowledge. Baba should never think it. See how Baba segregate himself from Brahma, though he is using the chariot of Brahma. Body of Brahma. He explains, remember Shiva Baba. Even Brahma Baba says, Dada says, <coughs> Shiva Baba says, have yoga with me. What he says? Shiva Baba says, have yoga with me. Even this Brahma has yoga with me. If you remember me, I will continue to help. It's only one sentence, two sentences by Brahma, remaining by Shiva Baba. When you become body conscious, Maya will continue to attack you and you will then continue to cause one another sorrow. These two are the biggest enemies. Which is the biggest enemy? Lust and anger. It is number wise. Lust and anger are visible vices. Anger we can see, lust we can see. Attachment, greed, etc. are incognito. We cannot see it. What is the intention? Therefore, you have to conquer these evil spirits, all evil spirits. The father says, what he says, at present, you don't receive even three feet of land, and I am making you into the masters of the world again. It is always the father's desire that his children glorify his name. When someone asks, whose child are you? You should answer with great intoxication. Oh, the father has made his children very elevated. We must have an intoxication that we are godly children. When a father's physical children become engineers, barristers or something else, he is very pleased. Some children don't hesitate in losing their father's honor. You have to increase your father's honor. Baba said, be careful. For children who dishonor the name of their clan, their father would say, is it would be better if you were dead, even in the physical world. This father too says, by being angry and lustful, you dishonor the name of the godly clan, dishonor the name of Baba. You have to claim your full inheritance from the father. You can see that Mama and Baba become the number one, Lakshmi and Narayan. So why should you not gain their throne? You truly gain the throne of the mother and father. When their children claim the throne, they themselves descend naturally. The kingdom is now being established. The father says, claim the kingdom. Don't be one of the subjects. You should have the intoxication of becoming Narayan. Although there are very wealthy ones among the subjects, they would still be called subjects. There are some people who are wealthier than the kings, even in the world. We can see the example of Maharana Pratap and Bhama Shah, who has helped him when he lost the kingdom and he again get the kingdom. Means people are wealthier than the kings. At this time, the government is bankrupt. Why? Government is floating different kind of instruments to take a loan from the public, bonds and everything. They take loans and so the people are wealthier, are they not? The father explains, you know that the government of Bharat was of Lakshmi and Narayan and they are now becoming that once again. Cycle. Your boat goes across by following the father's Srimat. Without father's Srimat, our boat cannot go across. You will become elevated. Will become. Baba says, if you will not become, then who will become? Otherwise, Maya will eat you, so be careful. She has swallowed many. Although they went away from here, they have now become millionaires. Those who have taken the sustenance of Egya for 14 years, out of that 75% gone and they become millionaires. Those who used to sell vegetables have today become multi-millionaires. They come to Baba and say, Baba, I now have a lot of wealth. Baba says, there is a great burden on you. You took 
a lot of sustenance from Sri Baba. Even today, suppose we are coming to Baba's knowledge, we are getting a lot of sustenance, though we are living in the future. Anybody can live. There is no guarantee for anybody. It depends upon us only. It is our choice. So Baba said, we are taking too much sustenance from Yagya, from Sri Baba. That is a debt and you must therefore remain very cautious. So they also feel that they should remove their burden. Baba has met many like that. You daughters came running in Karachi. Baba gave example. Did you bring anything with you at that time? Nothing at all. You were sustained from Sri Baba's treasure store. We children were all sustained with the wealth of those who surrendered themselves to Sri Baba. Dada surrendered totally. And after seeing the other four families surrendered, so five families particularly, they have contributed a lot. And out of that, Brahma Baba was the main contributor. So Baba says, they have surrendered themselves. This Baba did not know that they would all get together and come here in that way. This Baba, Miss Brahma, was not even knowing how the Yajna will run. Sri Baba made it enter their intellects that the bhatti had to be created, and so all of them came running. So some surrendered themselves to sustain all of them. So nothing new. Then some of them ran away. Many defeated them. Sorry, Maya defeated them. Why they ran away? Because of Maya. Maya is no less powerful. Half cycle Maya is ruling the world. You now have to conquer her by having remembrance of the father. This is the only solution. Don't use the word yoga, Baba says remembrance, not even yoga. Some children say, make us sit in yoga. See the answer of Baba. However, if this habit is instilled, you won't be able to stay in remembrance while walking and moving along. It is a karma yoga. You mustn't teach new ones to sit specially in yoga. Why? Baba clarified. When you make new ones sit in front of you, they become trapped in name and form because majority were Kumaris and mothers. Sisters were there. If suppose brothers are coming, so they have a, you can say, trap. They will be trapped because they don't have sufficient knowledge. They don't have power. So Baba said, don't do that thing. This is what experience says and this is why it is forbidden. Do you have to sit somewhere in order to remember your mother and father? I'm asking a question. Our physical mother and father, suppose they are living in India. For me particularly, suppose, for us, many of us. Our relatives, mother and father, we can remember by sitting in foreign land. We are not sitting against him. So Baba give example. Remember Baba while walking, sitting and doing service, just like we are remembering our friends, family members, anyone. Those who are Baba's especially beloved children will even stay awake at night and remember Baba. Baba is the most beloved and he makes you into the masters of the world. So why would you not remember him? Baba also wonders. You receive the inheritance of a lot of happiness from the Father from beyond. Make effort and work hard from now on and you will experience godly reward for birth after birth. It isn't that you receive the kingdom by performing such action there in the golden age. So we are getting the reward of the praise and action, not of the golden age actions. No, Baba said. You receive the reward there for the effort you make here at this time. So this is the most important. The status is very high. Many came in the beginning and they were amazed. They heard the knowledge. They related it to others and then they ran away. Many established centers and then ran away and fell. Some established centers and then gradually fell. Maya is wonderful, he is not. Maya quickly catches hold of you by the nose. Therefore, the father says constantly, remember me. Always think, what to always think? That it is Sri Baba who is explaining to you, not any brother or sister or even Dada is explaining to you. And not to the body, only to the soul. Mama was cleverer than this one, that is Dada. Baba is incorporeal and egoless. You children also have to understand, I am an incorporeal soul. I have to become egoless. 
only then will you claim your inheritance. There shouldn't be any body consciousness. You have to become very sweet, no choice. Maya doesn't exist there. So why should you not claim your inheritance from the father and become Baba's right hands? Who becomes that? Those who establish centers. They perform wonders. They benefit so many. Some establish centers and then go away. They receive the fruit of that too. Those who help Baba, definitely they will receive the fruit of that. On the one hand, they accumulate and on the other hand, they incur a loss because they ran away. They are not following Baba's principles, Baba's Srimad. The father knows this. Brahma too can know this. This one is the only especially beloved child, Dada. All of you are grandchildren because we are taking birth, birth through Dada. You know that Mama became number one. Baba claimed the second number, Dada, Baba Masiya. So the mothers have to be given a lot of regard. Baba says, salutation to the mothers. Therefore, you children also have to say, salutation to the mothers. There cannot be upliftment without the mothers. In fact, all are sitas. Baba says, Pandavas, or you can say mothers, all are sitas. But mothers are responsible for upliftment because they are sustaining the yagya. All are brides of one bridegroom. That is, all are children of the one father. The father himself says, what he says, salutation to mothers. Whatever actions children see me perform, they will do the same. So the mothers have to be looked after. They are assaulted a great deal. When someone creates obstacles, the poor helpless mothers become tied in bondage. They are not allowed to go to the center or to Baba's knowledge. This is how the unobscene becomes full. When the devils beat them, they become sinful souls. All of this is according to the drama. That's the reason. No? If you go to the scriptures, they indicated that Janak Raja, King Janak was, you can say, plowing. Why? To get the child. And he touched his, you can say, touch it to the you can say one pot which was full of blood, that is full of sinful actions, nothing else. So same way indicated, Sita has shown a the, you can say daughter of earth means we have a body which is made up of five elements. Sita means all are soul, Sati, Satya, Satya means truth, all are truth, Baba, just like all souls. It is a wonderful drama, Baba says. No one can erase this. But all of this is according to the drama. No one can erase this. Each one will claim his own inheritance exactly as he did in the previous cycle. So we don't have to ask a question to Baba why we are early or late, whatever the question may be. Visions are received about who the good helpers are. Shri Baba says, I am the best over. I do not take anything. If you think that you are giving something to Shri Baba, particularly, if you have the ego, you die. Ego means negativity, maya. Sri Baba says, you give pebbles and stones and receive so much in return. Baba is always the best over. I am giving to Sri Baba should never enter your intellect. Baba has no body. So he's not taking anything else. Whatever we are doing, that is for ourselves. Suppose we, you can say online student, we send money to the Madhuban. They have purchased a lot of things. Already we recently circulated also among the children of Baba. So everything goes to Baba's Bandara. This we Baba Sri Baba is not taking. It is being used by the Brahmins and for the service only. So Baba says, I give one paisa and receive one hundred thousand in return. I receive the fortune of the kingdom for twenty one months. See the Accounting of Baba, give one pesa and receive 100,000 in return. <clears throat> that is also, Baba says, 100,000, not pesa, Baba didn't add the word pesa. The father in the best hour of salvation, father is the best hour of salvation, he is the one who fills your upruns. 
you have to make incognito donation. Baba too is incognito. Everything, whatever Baba is doing, everything incognito, no show at all. Achha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning. From the mother, the father, Bab Dada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children. Love, remembrance, good morning and says Namaste to the spiritual father. Meethe, meethe, sikaladi, bacho prati, maat pita, bab dada ka yad piyar or good morning. Rohani, bab ki, rohani, bacho ko namaste. Am rohani, bacho ki, rohani, maat pita, bab dada ko yad piyar, good morning or namaste. Shukriya, baba, shukriya. Essence for dharana, number one. Become soul conscious and definitely conquer maya. This is the only way to conquer maya, soul consciousness. Stay awake at night, particularly at Amrit Bela, and remember the most beloved father. Point number two, become incorporeal and egoless, the same as the father. You must never even think that you are giving to Shiva Baba. Baba said, not even a single thought should come. Blessing, may you become a great and knowledgeable soul. Baba, so you are all great soul because we are playing all our part in the whole drama. And full of knowledge because we are getting from him who is ocean of knowledge. So, may you become a great and knowledgeful soul. How to become? Baba showing the method by knowing the importance of this time, particularly confluences, particularly auspicious confluences, and transforming anything wasteful into something powerful. If you are not able to trans transform which is wasteful into something powerful, Baba says we are wasting our time. We don't know the importance of time. So Baba indicated the importance of time to be used. If time is gone, it will never come again. That's the reason there is a proverb. Samay samay balwan hai, nahi mano balwan. Kabe arjun lutiyo vahi danish balwan. Baba say after going, time is left. We can't do anything. So have an importance of time. So Baba explained, you wasted everything for 63 births. That is copper age and iron age. And you now have this one birth in which you become powerful. That is for 21 births. So do not waste time at, in this birth because each second of this confluence age is for earning an income of multi-millions. This is the age of se seasons to earn. It's the age of the season to earn. Therefore, never leave the powerful and go to the wasteful. To the extent that you become knowledgeful and become powerful, you will accordingly, accordingly make others powerful. <clears throat> we are becoming powerful. Our vibrations will go around and it will make others also powerful. Those who know the importance of this time, particularly auspicious confluences, in this way, automatically become great. Today's slogan, continue to follow and the instructions of the one father and the whole world will automatically surrender to you. Whole world will sell it to you. Achha, Om Shanti.